Everybody, quick question in one word or less. What are we looking for in this problem? What are we looking for? Great. Yeah, we're looking for the area right there straight away. It says, hey, what is the area of the picture frame? Sounds good. Cool. Perfect. All right. So with that, we're looking for the area of the picture frame. And all I know for sure is that I'm looking for the area. So right there, area equals blank. Now, everybody, quick question. The moment that I see such a specific math word like area, what's the next question I want to ask myself immediately? Area, hmm, there might be a formula, but I can't tell what formula to use unless I know, thank you, Deja, what the shape is. My as bad party people. Hope you're enjoying the math party so far. Just wanted to remind you before we continue that we do have a way for you to practice everything you need to get the ASVAB score that you want. Because in our math boot camp, we have everything you need in terms of recorded lessons to go through the entire concept. On top of that, we have guided practice, printable worksheets, and speed drills for each and every single mini concept from adding and subtracting decimals to fractions, distance rate time, word problems, proportions, everything you need. It's all lined up for you and it makes learning as easy as possible. And we make updates to this course on a weekly basis at no extra cost to you. So I really urge you and implore you, go ahead, check out the link in the description for the math bootcamp, which is also included in our full program and we make it as affordable as possible. So go ahead, click the link in the description to learn about this more. That way you know exactly what's available to you to raise your score. I don't want you to feel test anxiety. I don't want you to feel like you're lost and you know, you're just hoping for the best. I want you to take control of your studying and the ASVAB All Access program and the Math Bootcamp are the exact ways to do it. So if you have any questions, my contact info is also in the description. But before we continue, please check it out so you know exactly what's available to you. That way you can feel confident that there is a solution for you. Let's get back to the video though. Let's ace the ASVAB, right? Yeah, they could say find the area, but remember the area for a square, a rectangle, a triangle, parallelogram, pentagon, what am I looking at? What shape am I dealing with? You have to be able to ask yourself that question immediately because the point is to get a setup as quickly as possible. So with that said, area is what I'm looking for. Let me scan the information to understand what shape I'm dealing with. And I see that the shape is a square picture frame. Boom. Everyone, what's the formula? What's the formula, excuse me, that I'm gonna write right here? What's the formula gonna be? <laughs> Let's write it out there. Area equals what? Yeah, side squared or side times side, both of those mean the same thing. And yeah, that's what I'll go ahead and write down there. Area of a square. Area equals side times side. That's what you need to immediately immediately you need to be able to just have that up in your head to get that out there. Boom. Next up, well, if I'm looking for the area, my party people, if I'm looking for the area, what information would I need to find the area then? What specific information would I need to plug in? Right, find the measure of the side, which would be 40. Which would be 40 because it's actually given to us right here. Or is it? Everyone, what does 40 inches along its sides mean? 40 inches along its sides does not mean side length. It doesn't. 40 inches along its sides means it's the sum of the sides. It measures 40 inches along its sides. Now I do Yeah, it is counting all the sides. And the answer actually is not going to be B. Yeah, it's going to be C. So when it says a square picture frame measures 40 inches along its sides, it doesn't say along each side, does it? Does it say 40 inches along each side? No, it doesn't. It says 40 inches along its sides. So that's how you know, and yes, am I being a little bit of a evil heebie-jeebie oompa loompa man by doing this? Maybe, but you're going to thank me later. Details matter. They don't say that 40 inches is one side. 
they say that it measures 40 inches along its sides or along its border. If I were to say 40 inches along its border, you would have no problem saying, oh yeah, that's primitive. Absolutely. But I just changed the phrasing. But it still means the same thing. 40 inches along its sides. It still means the same thing. So before I continue, you know, because I'm not trying to I'm not trying to blatantly confuse anybody outside of the one initial instance here. Does that make sense? The 40 inches along its sides is referring directly to the perimeter. Cool. Cool. So let's go ahead and have a little surprise here. A problem that we thought was going to be super straightforward. Notice how, and I did this on purpose here. Notice how we have just hit a hiccup, if you will but I want to show you how you personally can handle problems like this when situations like this arise. You did everything right so far. You said you're looking for the area of a square and the formula says you're, do you're gonna do side times side. Excellent, excellent. Now here's where you need to continue following the facts of the matter. The facts of the matter are telling you, hey, if I go ahead and, and find the side, I'm good. But you cannot rush to judgment, you cannot assume information fits, just because you want the problem to be easy. A ASVAB problem can easily be stated like this and you can get confused. So, what you need to understand is that you are given the perimeter here. 40 inches along its sides, that is the perimeter. So what that means is everybody, well, my question is this, is there a way to get the side from the perimeter? Is there a way? Yeah, there is. And again, why is that important again? Because the problem says so. The problem says we're looking for the area of a square and the area of a square is found by multiplying the sides together. I don't know what the sides are, but I have the perimeter. And with the perimeter, yeah, I can get the sides by using the formula. The formula reads perimeter equals four times side. And the perimeter that I was given was 40, and that's gonna be four times side. This isn't gonna to be too much of extra lifting or extra baggage here, because everybody, if the perimeter is 40, and you gotta multiply by four to get there, let's work backwards. How do we get to the side? Right, you play with the formula, you'll divide by the four, Everyone, what's 40 divided by 4 going to be? Good stuff so far. I'm glad that we're, we're on the same page here on this. Right, we divide both sides by 4, and that's going to give us 10. So it's going to be 10 equals the side. Everybody, are we done? Boom, are we done? Is that going to be the answer right there? Cool, yes, awesome. That's going to be D. Are we good? No, it is not. Everybody, what is the reason that we're doing this problem? We are trying to find the what. We're trying to find the what? We are trying to find the area. We are not done. We found the side as 10 inches. Now we're gonna use this information and we're gonna plug it in right here to now get our area. Notice it was a little bit of an extra step. I didn't warn you this was gonna happen, but I'm hoping that we're still happy to go through this experience because now we have 10 times 10. And what's 10 times 10 gonna be everybody? That's right, my area equals 100 square inches. And that's gonna be C, 